Hi everyone, thanks for dropping by my YouTube channel today and checking out what is the third installment in my Breckwell pellet stove controller instructional videos. This relates directly to the older analog version as you see here with the two switches on the bottom side and a push button to set it to automatic mode and the ABCDE max positions on the front of the controller. Now I spoke in my last video, which was about the fuse, about whether or not some of, of the controllers that they made have a fuse right here and how to go look for that. I also spoke in that video about how your controller may still work in manual feed, but it will not work in automatic feed if that fuse is no good. Today we're going to talk about if this fuse happens to be good or you don't have a fuse and your pellet stove controller appears to not be driving pellets or the auger is not running in spite of the fact that you're in automatic mode green light up here and occasionally you'll see the green LED through the view hole come on and off. The possibility there relates to TS2 which is a 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius switch. That switch looks like this it's a, it should have two mounting screw holes and two tabs to mount electrical wires. On that switch, you need to go look for it, but on that switch should be an orange and a yellow wire on the one side. So you'll have orange on one side, possibly two orange wires connected to one spot, and yellow on the other. That switch basically comes and makes electrical an electrical connection or closure once the stove temperature reaches 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. It needs to be tested to see if it will actually close. So what there's no harm in doing is taking the yellow wire and connecting it with the orange wire somehow. You have to be cautious about this. I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to do that. You have to do that on your own. But if you connect the orange and the yellow wires together that should bypass the switch and allow you to see if when this green light comes on if your auger motor drives. So that's something to look for. I mentioned in my previous videos you have to be in automatic mode, green light up top, you press the, uh, you, you set the speed so that should make this light, the green LED, flash on occasionally depending at, at, at the rate depending on the uh, setting you have up here in your low to max position and then if your fuse is good or you have no fuse and your wiring your circuit board is good then you need to check your fuse or your your temperature switch over here if it's not made if your stove is not hot enough it will not drive uh, aug the auger check that out uh, make sure that that is functional and then if you find that to be defective it needs to be replaced so a lot of the problems that I can see is a board will come to me it appears to be fully functional. The only reality is that this switch, which is in your stove, still at your house, is probably defective and is not actually closing or making an electrical, uh, making an electrical path and uh, allow, allowing the electricity to flow from the yellow wire through to the orange wire and onto your auger motor. So I hope this helps. If you still have problems after checking this out, making sure your fuse is good, making sure you're, in automa you're able to go to automatic mode and you see your green light up here flashing, then it's most likely we have a problem someplace in the electronics of the control board. And usually I'll describe that as a solid state relay fault because one of the components in a solid state relay will have failed. Otherwise, if you don't check this out, it's difficult to tell the difference between a failed solid state relay section or that not functioning. So I hope this helps everybody. I want to thank you for sitting through and watching this. I hope that uh, this is of value to you and if so please give it a thumbs up and at the same time subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.